Hi folks, welcome back. If you saw part one of the uh, Canon HFR200 uh, review, uh, you'll know that I'm uh, reviewing this camera and uh, I ordered it uh, from Crutchfield and it came in and I was so excited to get this camera. And uh, that's why I wanted to review it. So uh, I, I did part one last time and I know you're expecting part two of the review on the camera but I want to do something a little different because I had a problem. Uh, I ordered the camera from these folks, uh, Crutchfield. I've never ordered anything from them before. I'd heard very good words about them. Uh, when the camera came, uh, as you know, I opened the box on camera and um, checked everything out. And after I finished that video, I plugged the battery into the camera and the charger into the battery uh, into the camera and uh, charge the battery for three hours like the manual says. So when I unplugged the charger from the camera, tried to turn the camera on, it said, you don't have any battery. There's, there's no charge on the battery. So I tried all sorts of things. I put the battery in and then the charger, and then I put the charger in and then the battery, and then I took an eraser and cleaned off the terminals on the battery, and then I cleaned off the terminals on the camera. Um, I was having a real problem. I was getting very exasperated. Uh, finally, I just came to the conclusion that the battery was bad. It was not going to charge a battery, and I needed to call Crutchfield and get a battery. So I did. On Sunday afternoon, I called Crutchfield, uh, talked to a nice young man, and told him what my problem was, told him I thought it was the battery, and he said uh, that after what he heard from me, he thought it was the battery too, but uh, they had a problem. And I said, what's that? And he said, well, we don't have any batteries in stock. We're, we've sold out. Uh, now, what I can do is I can take a battery out of another camera and send it to you, but then I've got uh, two cameras to have to deal with. I've got your camera out there that uh, you're not happy with, and I've got a camera in stock that doesn't have a battery, so I'm just going to send you a new camera. You're going to what? I'm going to send you a new camera, and then you can make sure that the camera works, and when, uh, when, when you're we satisfied that uh, you have a camera that works, you can box up the old one and send it back to us. We'll even send you a uh, UPS shipping label so that uh, there won't be any charge. And I said, well, let me get this straight. You're, you're sending me a second camera, and you're going to trust me with two cameras. He said, well, yes, sir. We're going to trust you for two weeks anyway. Uh, because if you don't send one of the cameras back within two weeks, we'll charge your credit card for the second camera. I said, well, you know, that sounds like a pretty good deal to me. So uh, I uh, patiently awaited my camera. Monday I got a notification from Crutchfield that they had shipped it out, and uh, on Wednesday it arrived, last Wednesday. Uh, I happened to be home when it came, so uh, the first thing I did, of course, was to unpack the camera, the battery, the charger, and uh, put the battery in the camera, plug the charger into the wall, plug the charger into the camera, and charge it for three hours, like the manual said. And sure enough, when I unplugged the charger, the camera came on. And uh, everything worked fine. Um, the battery indicator showed that I had a full battery charge, and I was just pleased as punch. Now, admittedly, it's taken a week from when I had hoped to get it, but let me tell you about these folks. Uh, they have been wonderful. Uh, I, I took the uh, uh, popcorn that they had in their original shipping container and put the camera back in their original box with all the goodies that came with it, and I uh, put it back in their shipping box with all their peanuts, uh, packed it up, put the UPS label on it, caught the UPS guy, driver at my office and gave it to him, uh, and it has gone back. So they have a happy customer, and I've been very pleased with their customer service. So my recommendation is that if you want to buy something electronic, uh, to check with these people first. Uh, they have an online, um, they have an online catalog and check in the catalog and if what you're looking for they sell, I'd buy it from those folks. Uh, as you recall, uh, it was $20 cheaper to buy this camera from Crutchfield than it was from Amazon and I suspect that that's probably true for most everything that they sell. Plus, I can testify that these guys have the very best customer service if you have a problem. And um, I, I don't like problems. I don't like hassle at all. I don't like to return things. 
but these guys made it very easy they were very polite and they were very helpful and I'd recommend that you buy your next electronic product from these guys if they sell it. So now if you'll click on part 2B in my channel you'll see the remainder of the, of the uh, video review on this wonderful uh, Canon HFR 200 camera which I am very pleased with and I'll show you some um, I'll show you some videos that were actually taken with the camera. Thanks for watching. Bye.